and now we can just go ahead and connect up the Raspberry Pi. Insert the memory card that you have just flashed. Make sure you connect up uh, all the cables that's necessary before you switch on the power. It's just easier. Wireless keyboard and mouse. HDMI. The HDMI that you need to use if you're only using one monitor is always the one next to the power supply. And now we can go ahead and connect the power. And that's a startup. Since I'm connected with uh, my LAN cable, I don't need to uh, connect to the Wi-Fi. And software update, operating system. Just click next. So to set up your uh, magic mirror, you can just access your browser. Scroll down. Easy to install. Usually there used to be a link. That link is not there anymore. So now you have to just follow the instructions. It's quite nicely laid out with a nice introduction, the requirements, installation and usage, the configuration, and so on. So you can just go to the next step. Give you some explanation. Raspberry Pi 0 and 1 is currently not supported. So, the manual installation. What you need to do now is just copy all of this, paste it into your terminal, and it will do the rest. and hit enter on to the next step Can already go back and just get the next one. Now, with this part, it's not two sections, it's one single instruction that you need to copy and paste. See the progress 73%. Now we 
can already paste our next one. you see the note here it will say that the installation step for the npm install will take a very long time There you go, that's the first startup screen of your magic mirror. So if you want to exit the magic mirror, what you have to do is just press uh, Ctrl Q. I'll show you now. And go back to your Raspbian operating system. So if you go back into Yeah. 